Okay. Hi, Kitty. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Doing fine, thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. It's nice to have you here. You've got a new book out called Ruth Ready, and I see on your bio that you are a five-time award-winning author. How many books have you published? Well, I think I probably published about 11 so far. Um, and actually, Ruth Ready is not like brand new. Um, it came out right around COVID. Before we get to your book, uh, tell us a little about yourself, if you would, please. So, as you mentioned, my name is Kitty Arsenault. Um, I'm a mother. I'm a wife. Um, I am also a minister of the word. Um, I have so much going on. I'm a life coach. I'm a book coach. I coach people into writing their books. That's one of my passions. I really love to do that. Um, I have a nonprofit organization for youth where um, we teach them how to build businesses. I just do so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like you're very busy. Um, you mentioned something book coach. Now, that's not a ghostwriter, right? No. Tell me what a book coach is. Uh, so you may want to write a book, but you don't know where to begin, or maybe you started and you don't know how to finish it up. And so I coach them. Um, I coach people into finishing or starting um, to write their book, just kind of walking them through the process. Um, uh, you know, they may have, they may just have an idea. And so, you know, I'll be there to coach them through um, until the end. We strategize you know, to put the book together and I help pull their thoughts out, things like that. Kind of like a motivational person? Or a muse. <laughs> a muse. Okay, that's a better way to put it. All right. All right. Well, that's interesting. Are a lot of people doing that? Because I've never, I've had lots of authors on this show, right? Over a thousand. And uh, I've never heard anybody who does that. I don't really know um, of anybody else that does it. Um, I've had people to come to me and ask me, how did you write your book? Can you help me write my book? And so that's how it all started. And so, um, you know, I would just help them. Uh, I have done some ghostwriting before, but um, that's not like one of my favorites. So um, I just kind of walk them through each step, you know, pull those questions, you know, ask some questions so I can pull the answers out of them. Um, you know, get them thinking about, you know, some different ways, think, thinking outside the box, you know, things like that so that they could finish it. Because a lot of times people have uh, a thought in their mind, like it has to be this way. And so I get them outside of that box so that they can begin to think um, more clearly and have more clarity on what it is that they're writing. Do you provide this service for any genre? of book or are you specific to a particular genre? Um, no, any genre. I, I see a Christian theme running through your bio. Are all of your writings, are they Christian themed? Um, yes, all of them are. I do have a poetry book uh, that has to be republished. Um, I was with a publishing company that sold to another publishing company that went out of business. And so I need to um, um, republish that one. But inside that book, I have some um, Christian poetry and I have some, I guess what you would call natural um, poetry as well. And so that's probably the only thing I have right now in book format that uh, that doesn't contain strictly Christian. Because I write other stuff. I write skits and short stories and things like that as well. So the latest book is called Ruth Ready. Now, I'm assuming this is Ruth from the Old Testament? Yes. Okay. So, yes, so this is my popular one right now. Um, I did write another book after that one. And I also did a coloring book. I, I um, challenged myself to do a coloring book, and I did the coloring book. And um, so Ruth Ready, yeah, it comes from the story in the Bible where they talk about Ruth and Boaz. Right. Uh, can you elaborate on that story just a little bit? It's been a while since I've been to Sunday school. 
<laughs> yes, so um, it kind of starts off with Naomi, who is Ruth's mother-in-law. Um, so her and her family leave and they go to another town. And then Ruth, um, Naomi, I'm sorry, loses her husband and her sons. And then so she decides, I'm going to go back home. And the two daughter-in-laws um, wanted to go with her. And of course, she was trying to tell them, you need to stay here. Uh, even if I have another son, you know, he's going to be too young, you know, that kind of stuff. And so the other daughter-in-law, she leaves um, and she goes back to her family. But Ruth is like, no, wherever you go, I will go, you know. And so Ruth goes back with her. And, um, you know, so Ruth decides, you know, hey, I want to go out in the field. I want to help provide. Right. And so she goes out and she gleans in the field of getting some wheat and some barley and Boaz notices her and then Naomi you know instructs her on so she basically tells her this is how you have to do it in order for him to marry you right um because he was a kin of Naomi back then you know you had to be kin you know redeemer and stuff like that and so there was another redeemer before Boaz, but he said, hey, I don't want to deal with that because I don't want to lose my land and all of this kind of stuff. And so Boaz decides, well, I'm going to marry her. Right. And so that's how the story goes. How is it written up in your book? I mean, I, I, tell me how your book relates to that. Yeah. So my book is about relationships. And so I use the book of Ruth and the Bible and the story between Ruth and Boaz. And I use that to um, talk about relationships, to build on relationships. I also use it. I use the um, the um, story with Ruth and Naomi, which is the mother-in-law and the daughter-in-law. Right. So I take that story with their relationship and I use that for mentorship. Um, and then um, I take the who Boaz is, because I don't know if you ever heard. You have women that are say, I'm waiting on my Boaz. Most Christian women say I'm waiting on my Boaz. That means they're single. And so, you know, they want this man to marry them, but they want the right man. Right. And a lot of times women will say that because they want somebody to help them financially. And because that's what he did. He basically helped her financially, but that's not all he did for her. And so I bring out in the book um, some other things about Boaz, like who he was. You know, um, I bring out his character uh, and things like that to say that you shouldn't just be looking for a mate just because he can financially care for you. You know, um, what about um, the morals that he had? What about his character? You know, things like that. Um, and so that's how I use their story. Um, and I talk about um, before the vows, you know, and I talk about how Boaz recognized or he noticed um, Ruth gleaning in the field. She was working. She was doing something. She was she wasn't just, you know, sitting back, just waiting for somebody to come. You know, she put herself in a position, you know, for these things to happen. And so it's a book about relationships. Um, it's a book about like if you're desiring to be married, it's a great book for that. Um, and I've had some married women to read it and they're like, whoa, I should have had this book before I got married. Um, you know, it's really helping me to see some things um, because I also talk about roots responsibility. As women, we have responsibilities in the marriage as well. Everything is not on the man. You know, we have responsibility also. Well, marriage should be a 50-50 split, even though the responsibilities could be different. Um, I don't necessarily talk about the material aspect as much as I talk about the love and the respect because women need love. The Bible says, tells the man to love the wife, but then it tells the woman to respect the husband. And so I talk about that. I talk about how love is a choice. Um, like we get to choose love. It's not so much an emotional feeling because every day we choose to love the person that we're with. 
we have some bad days, but we don't walk out the door. Like you say, you don't see divorce in your future. Um, like my husband and I, we don't even use the word um, because we choose to love each other every day, regardless of what's going on. And so I kind of dig in, you know, dig into some of that in the book as well. I think, unfortunately, today, divorce is just an option for people when things go bad and they don't put in the effort to fix whatever it is. Now, in some cases, people shouldn't, they shouldn't have got married in the first place because maybe they were not meant to be together. That happens. Um, mm -hmm. Or if somebody, yeah. for the wrong reasons, they got married for the wrong reasons and they just were not ever going to be compatible. But, you know, I think, I think it takes effort. It's, it's not just moonlight and canoes, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> there's more to it than that. Okay, we've got just about a minute. Um, so what's, what's the takeaway from the book? If, if somebody picks it up and reads it, what do you think, what do you want them to take away from it? want them to take away from it, um, like I mentioned before, that love is a choice, that we get to choose um, to love a person each day. Um, one of the chapters is my husband won't be perfect. And so I want them to understand that even though I'm talking to the female here, you know, we have to realize that neither one of us are perfect. Um, what I want them to take away from the book is that we can have healthy relationships Healthy relationships is possible if we just do the work. The book, again, is called Ruth Ready, and my guest is Kitty Arsenault. Uh, last question, do you have a website that you want to give out? Yes, I do. Um, the website is www.kitties, K-I-T-T-Y-S, bookshelf, B-O-O-K-S-H-E-L-F.com. So that's kittiesbookshelf.com. Okay, great. And there's information there on this book and your other work as well? Yes, all of my um, books are on that website along with some other um, uh, stuff as well. I have some pictures, um, a gallery where they can see like people who purchased the book. Because if somebody sends me a picture with the book, I'm going to put it on a website. <laughs> okay, great. Well, Kitty, it was nice meeting you. Nice having you on this show. Best of luck with everything that you're doing. Thank you for having me.